Hi everyone, this is Vignesh. In Google I.O. 2017, they have announced Kotlin is a officially supported language for Android. If you want to learn about Android, this is the right time to learn about Android development. Because no one can ask more number of experience for a Kotlin. Let's talk why Kotlin. Kotlin is developed by JetBrains. They are the developers of IntelliJ IDE and also the current Android Studio. So they can give better support for development. Kotlin provides understandable code than Java without sacrificing performance and safety. Some Kotlin features. Consists. Java has lot of boilerplate codes in its structure. Using Kotlin, we can get rid of this. That will help to increase the readability and understandability of our code. Null safety. In Java, we can get more than 40% of errors because of null pointer exception. So, Kotlin is providing null safety to avoid null pointer exception. Interoperable. Kotlin also following the same byte structure of Java so that we can use Java as well as Kotlin files in the same project. Also Kotlin is platform independent which means we can run the same code in Windows, Linux and Mac. Higher order function. We can pass function as a parameter to another function. We'll talk about these features later in this course after finishing basic needs of Android development. So, tools needed for Android development. JDK, Android Studio 3.0 or above, Android SDK. You need to install softwares in this order. JDK, Android Studio and Android SDK. I will give you the download link in the description. As of now, I will be giving two links for Android Studio. One is stable release, another is preview build. As of now, Android Studio 3.0 is released as a preview build. So use that one. Before downloading, check the stable build. If stable build is more than 3.0, I will recommend to use stable build instead of preview build. I am going to use IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition to demonstrate Kotlin code structure. You don't need to install IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition because Android Studio 3.0 itself has all the plugins needed for Kotlin development. That's all for this video guys. Share with your friends. If you have any doubts, please leave it in comment section. I will try to answer it. Hope you like it. I will see you on my next video.